Hi, my name is Graham Barry, and this is Bay Area's Festival Spotlight, where we talk to festival founders about the magic that makes music festivals so damn special. Uh, today, we're joined by Julian Prince, the founder of St. Martin's Incredible House and Techno Event, SXM Festival. Um, St. Martin, for those who are unfamiliar, is a serene travel destination known both as the Friendly Island uh, for its kind-hearted people and as the Las Vegas of the Caribbean because of how much fun the place has to offer. Um, thanks for joining us today, Joey. Thank you so much, Graham. How you been, man? I've been well. It's been well. It's, uh, it's been a while, and it's good to see your face. Um, I wanted to ask you, like, perhaps it's, it's best if we, if we start with uh, a video so that people can actually see what they've been missing if they haven't attended yet. Is that a video? The preparatives will go to Happy Bay. The site is ready to accueil the 4th edition of the SXM Festival for 5 days and 5 nights of fêtes rythmées by the music house and techno. How is this year different from other years? Well, all you have to do is say it was 2020. Every time I've been, actually, it's been a different trip. They make it better every year. When I'm in SXM, honestly, I just feel free and flowing. And that's how you need to feel when, when you're at a, a festival, which we don't get around the world a lot. Feels like being part of something special. Yeah, it was a moment super particular, and I think I'll never forget it. I think everybody knew that it was like the last opportunity we all had to be together. So undescribable. Once in a lifetime every year. You have to experience it. This was the last festival probably happening on the planet. So we knew we were part of something really historic. There is never a dull moment at a Texan festival. Let me tell you that. The music is fantastic, but the people have been better. Every time, it's this incredible experience. And I still get the butterflies. That's going to be the last party in a long time, so let's make it count. Que les choses continuent. À Sexton Festival.
Um, can you tell us how it all got started and um, where, where was the idea for a 6M festival? Well, you know, we, we, we travel, we do things, we, we uh, were inspired by a lot of things, right? Um, for, for as a personal, uh, I would say, uh, um, the personal story and why do why did we end up in the festival business is, is, is and especially this one is because probably that this project um, had so much in common with my you know personal history you know travel I grew up in hotels uh, I've been DJing since 1997 and in studios since then and and throwing parties to owning you know, my own venues. And so, so I just felt it was like a natural progression to want to do something like bigger on, a, on, a, on that, on, on that, on that scale. Uh, inspiration wise. Well, you know, it's, it's very simple, you know, from being in clubs uh, before I was 18, uh, you know, bouncing my head to that music to, you know, buying records to uh, going to the raves, the warehouses, to, Going to on uh, you know and, and and later going to Miami BPM uh, uh, Burning Man you know all these things contributed you just live your life and then you get influenced by what you've lived so um, but uh, this project made sense because uh, when I landed in St Martin for the first time and I saw like the quality of 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 and the of, of the venues and the diversity and how the how the island was set up as as a dj you know i I think we all every dj can relate to that you get into a church and you know you see the dj booth you know you don't see the the hostel (laughs) You, you know what i mean so you know it was just a matter of like being able to understand and it's it was quite easy here because it's a small place to the party naturally designed itself you know in my mind and then of course you know you can have great ideas but Without a great team, you can't do much. So it was a uh, it was a big adventure from uh, January 2015 to March 2016 to build the right people, uh, the right team to be able to deliver an experience that has not been done before. You know, yes, there's been a lot of festivals done before. Uh, everyone, every festival has their own uh, has their own. You know, every festival that lasts in time lasts because they're unique in their own way. You know. Um, but, um, but yeah, it was, a it was, it was a nice teamwork, obviously that, that led to the first edition, but yeah, that's it. I, I couldn't help but notice past lines for the festival that, that included just, just some colossal heavyweights like Audio Fly, Whitney Lazarus, and Juan Mills, like, ACO Flags, Lou Birds, just so many amazing I like I like to say, I'd like to say that unfortunately uh, Damien never uh, never made it here. He was always yeah. welcome. Like uh, like unfortunately, or, or a lot of a lot of artists. But you know, uh, when you build a festival lineup, it's not just what you want. It's, it it comes as well as you know travel schedules and the world's a big place. You know, uh, if the art who's in the area at that time. So there's a lot of moving parts to build the lineup. So you know. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work out, I guess. Yeah, sometimes you know it's not again. It's not a question of will. It's a question of of life. Still, I mean, uh, Jamie Jones, Pete Stetson, Sabo. Yeah. The list is is is, is long. It's, it's incredible. Um, I know this year's lineup hasn't been released yet, but if you could give us just a tease of what to expect. Um, yeah, I, I think we're ju- I think we're just taking our time because uh, we we've seen. Uh, I mean, as an organization, we would love to get to a place where people trust who's going to DJ and how amazing the music will be. I think that um, it's great to have a festival built on names, but I, I feel that our, our festival is like, got the word festival to it, true, but it's more of an experience, to be honest. It could, be the, it could have been the SXM experience. And probably looking back, it would have probably been a better name than festival because it's not just music. It's also cultural. It's cultural immersion. It's a trip. Uh, it could be so many things that you design uh, for your own experience. And there's so much to do here that you can really design a different trip every time you come. Great. There's also the best, the best music ever and a great production and amazing people that show up from, I don't even know how many different cities and countries in the world. We've had people as far as literally 
Australia and Japan. So, you know, it, it went pretty global and people were attracted to come in and experience the festival with us. And, uh, and, and we're so grateful about that. But uh, yeah, it's an experience at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, you're so right because when, when I went, I, I can't help but remember, you know, I was always impressed by the music lineup, but um, just being immersed in that island culture and two different sides of the island, there's so much, um, so much to do around the island. It's like sometimes you can, you can even forget that it's a music festival. You're just having such a great time. You're just there with, with, all, with, with all these great people and hearing this great music. And, um, but you can also just, you know, fall into some amazing shopping, like some great food. There's just so much to do there. So, um, I wanted to ask you because you probably talked to so many people that come to the come to the, the, the festival maybe at first for the music, but then they're surprised by so many other things. You know, what's something that you know, for you people mention a lot you know, for first timers when they come to the festival they're surprised? Well, we like in, internally. I mean, you know, the the star of the festival is the island. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, it's what it is. Um, you know, we've been doing this for seven years now. I think we're, you know, we're to be trusted. We've done everything we could in the world to deliver what we've promised. Uh, and to us, this is very important, you know, keeping everyone safe and, and also delivering what we've, what we've what we promised and ha making sure everyone has a great experience. But, uh, you know, truth is that, uh, I mean, we would love to get into a place where just people trust that they're going to have the time of their lives and that trust the organization into a point where they know very clearly that we'll deliver something phenomenal. So we're, uh, so that's it. So this year we've been taking our time. Uh, the world has changed a lot since for the pandemic, different game. Everything's different. Every year is a challenge because, you know, as a, as a, as an organization, there's new, new, uh, uh, there's a lot of new stuff happening, you know, whether it's in the marketing side and how uh, how uh, how algorithms work and how this this platform is rising, and we always have to adjust a certain way in order to put the word out. And uh, and as well, you know, the music's been evolving. Uh, a lot of the talent we've been uh, closely following since year one. When you, everyone you've mentioned actually um, became huge stars. <laughs> you know over the years so that's amazing too so i think people can understand or, or trust the fact that you know if you read the name of a dj you don't really know that to come check him out now because most certainly we smell the fact that probably in a couple of years that that artist is going to be you know a rising that he's already a rising star so yeah that's it we like to be uh we like to be in tuned you know, and we wish everyone can be in tune with us as well. What do you think it is that draws a lot of the people, including the musicians, but I think there's so many other aspects to the island. What, what do you think it is that draws people to the island as opposed to so many other exotic destinations where they could go and travel? And go with us or you know, in general, I'd like to say that, uh, and it's not, I mean, honestly, St. Martin is just a, a phenomenal. It is magical here. And without a doubt, it is magical. There is something here with the energy that is, I mean, you know, obviously these things are mostly unexplainable. So I'm not going to try to do it. But just like I've been here for three weeks now, back for the winter. And there's an astonishing amount of rainbows with colors and rainbows I've never seen before and double rainbows and, and, and things like it's like the nature is, is, you know, you're lost in the middle of the ocean and, and yeah, it's gorgeous and beautiful. So it inspires, of course, the natural beauty. And there's a lot of tropical destinations, but not, not a lot with that many beautiful beaches, you know, and, and the island's really gorgeous. Um, and they have all those pretty villas and homes and as well as very, um, a very nice local, uh, 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 the locals are super nice um, and, 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 Every, and it's also, you know, very multicultural. So it speaks Spanish, like it speaks French, like it speaks English. So it's really easy to feel at home here. So I understand, you know, and uh, the locals say to have people uh, come here. You, all you got to do is to make them come once. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't sound right. No? <laughs> Some say coming twice is better. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> all these... <laughs> They say they say that all they need to do is come once, and it's true. It's easy to 
it's an easy place to love. So that's one, but it doesn't matter, you know. There are islands that are more beautiful, that are that are even even more beautiful, I would say. But they don't have a big airport, <laughs> you know. There's a reason why um, why BPM was in was in the uh, was in what, became so huge and was in Cancun. It's because that airport has flights from everywhere in the world four times a day. So, you know, accessibility is, is one of the big keys of why it was possible to do it here. Otherwise, if it would have not been because of the airport, we could have not had a festival here. So, yeah. Um, since you mentioned the pandemic, I, I wanted to, to talk to you a little bit about that. I noticed that the video too, it touched on it. And yeah, yeah, it's so nice. I think that we're seeing yeah. finally going into the rear view. And I think as you move forward, um, you know what? What are you, what are you looking forward to doing now the most? Or what's 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 really got you excited now that we can finally, um, now that we can finally find each other on the dance floor? Yeah, well, you know, I just, I mean, I've seen that piece uh, so many times, and it still, it still uh, reminds me different memories. Yeah. It was a hell of a roller coaster. I'm, 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 I'm not gonna be afraid or, or ashamed to say I'm a sensitive person, and. Uh, and and yeah and that that was uh it, it, it was hard to go through but you know i also believe that everything happens for a reason it was especially hard because a couple of years before we had a hurricane and everything was demolished so it's like you know we've had our fair share of of of, uh, of challenges you know more i guess than a, can i say 98 percent of festivals or or less i don't know 95 i don't know the natural destruction and uh, and and covid we everyone had covid but not many had a, had a had literally like a, a catast natural catastrophe happening, but I'm not comparing. I'm just saying that, you know, it, it, it was hardcore. It's been, it, it was tough, but you know, it's when you see the quality of your team, you know, uh, it, it's, it's an, it's, it's an outstanding, uh, um, uh, I would say occasion <laughs> to witness how, how, how many, with how many professionals you're actually um, surrounded and how, how lucky, you are to work on on on, on such a singular uh, situation, you know. I think it's it's really important the way that SXM Festival has, has made supporting you know, the, the locals and the community on the island as well as the international community at large, um, just such a high priority. Um, but like the work that you guys do locally really really seems to make an important impact there um, and while I was there I, I just remember seeing so much of it so I wanted to ask you if you can talk about some of the donations and the philanthropy or the volunteer effort there's just so much oh. That's on the, like, well, for us it's it, it, it's for for us to, it's kind of you know you have values every organization has their values you know Kraft wants to make the best peanut butter you know that's good <laughs> we <laughs> That's a perfect value. I love peanut butter. I'm French Canadian, so I'm happy that it's their value. But uh, for the festival, we we uh, we always had this thing where we wanted to give back. For some reason, we always had the kids at first in our in our rear view. I was in a dad back then, but you know, even the first year, and it's, you know, you start a festival. It's a startup. You don't have much budget. You're doing everything you can to put the party at the highest quality with the less cost. You know, you're trying to figure this business out. It's, Anyways, it was you know challenging on on, on on the first year. It's always complicated, no matter what you do on, on a festival. But we still found found find a way found a way to get some ping pong tables from a, this a, a, a company who donated it to us. They had it wrapped to Sexen Festival, and another company who made beach towels. And then we we went to and we put it in schools and give the give the towels to the kids. Uh, that was year one, and then year two, we. Uh, we, it was awesome. We had an active activation with Splice and the kids, and the kids were taking samples, and we sent it to Splice. As those splices were and those samples were sold, and we gave it to a, an, an organization to take care of them. Uh, we did. Uh, we started also doing green initiatives from the year one. We're like, we're not. We're buying to for the production. We're going nails and glue, and we used whatever was from the nature was falling down. We did not cut a leaf. We did not. Uh, uh, anything from the trees so you know from start we had we had we're like we wanted to be challenged on that for the right reasons but you know when you look at what just the first year looked like you know it looked so organic so beautiful so you can feel the passion and i think that's what made the big impact in the people's mind because objects have an aura in a way especially the ones that are handcrafted and i think that our festival is i mean 
you know, 80% handcrafted. So it, it makes a big difference. And to handcraft, you need hands. And who are the hands behind the festival is also important because people see DJs on the lineup. And I'm an artist as well. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> But I'm going to say that there's other artists in the back that are humble, that don't like the spotlight, and that are there and that are masters at partying. And you, you, I, don't, I don't think that some, I mean, I myself think I have a lot of experience in that area. These guys have a way of seeing the party and orchestrating the vibes with 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 the right visuals and the right and the right uh, objects and and structures and 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 art pieces and those guys are are, are geniuses and 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 I have them at heart as well. You know, it takes everything to make a beautiful party, but um, definitely uh, there's a lot of passion into 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 this into this project and this is what's important because honestly i love sleeping and i need something to make me get out of the bed and 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 since i started doing the festival i sleep six hours a day maximum <laughs> so i'm doing something that 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 feels good anyways for uh, for myself you know sounds like it's having a positive impact on you as well as No, for sure. Well, you know, it starts with the people we, you know, I, when we work as an organization, I always tell the people I work with, yo, no fighting, no screaming. Like the vibe starts here. Yeah. That's where it starts. And it's going to bleed on the whole event. So let's have some fun. That's awesome. I like it. It's almost like it takes accountability from the front end. So the buck stops here, it's the, the vibe starts here. Starts, it starts with an, everything starts with an, an intention. Gosh, I'm not, not really excited. Are, are there any preview events happening sooner or, you know, how, how do I, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to wait until March. We, we, <laughs> we actually have a series of events that we call Destination SXM. And those, those are uh, parties we do with uh, some of our most trusted friends and, and, and fellow uh, organizers, um, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, clubs that we are affiliated uh, for or that, you know, we collaborate with or, or you know, guys who actually throw their own, uh, their own events in the warehouses or whatever. And we, and we, we do a collaboration party called SX, Destination SXM. We have a raffle for tickets to come to the festival and, uh, and we decorate the DJ booth and we get into the vibe. So we do them the whole, the, the whole year long, actually. Uh, so let's say we do probably like, you know, 12, 15 a year. So we might come to a city near you um, soon, for sure. How how can people help myself? How, <laughs> how can I keep up uh, with the announcements and, and hear more about us? So I don't know uh, what platforms uh, you guys use, if any, but uh, <clears throat> for sure, Instagram and Facebook are you know the the, the, the easiest way to to stay in touch. Um, if you guys. Uh, uh, have any questions you i mean the, uh, as well the website is a great tool for us so if you, it should be for everyone you know so if you want to go to sxmfestival.com easy uh sxm for those who uh, is the first time you hear about it it stands for the airport code uh, so very easy of st martin or st martin if you're um, if you're dutch <laughs> you might be i don't know there you go. Julian Prince, the founder of SXM Festival, thank you for joining us uh, for Festival Spotlight. Uh, to you and all the rest out there, thanks for tuning in. I'm Graham Berry with Gray Area, saying we'll see you on the dance floor. And I say, I'll see you in March. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.